It's now time to address the Sikh perspective. Assess recall. This is a presentation of Guru Gobind Singh Foundation located in Rockville, Maryland. The host here is Dr. Rajwan Singh. Tomorrow marks the grand festival in the Sikh religion. This beautiful festival is called Vesaki. Let's hear Dr. Singh's words on Vesaki. Welcome to Sikh Perspective. Let us uh, all celebrate Vesaki, uh, which is being celebrated all over the world by the Sikh community. Uh, Vesaki has a, a very, very uh, significant place in the history of the Sikh community and also theologically, spiritually. Um, it is mentioned very beautifully by Guru Nanak Dev Ji in his, one of his hymns. Um, it's called Bara Maha, but it is written in Tukhari Rag. Baisakh pala shakha ves kare Baisakh pala shakha ves kare Tan dekhe har dwar Aavo daya kare Ho aavo daya kare Guru Nanak Dev Ji is saying, O oh God, the Vaisakhi is uh, now being celebrated. I can see that the trees are covering themselves with the beautiful uh, green leaves. And, um, and similarly, that uh, the, the soul is yearning because soul is watching um, its beloved. So soul is crying that, oh beloved, come, uh, please have, have compassion upon me and come and embrace me. So Guru Nanak Dev Ji celebrates the season of Vaisakhi but inspires us to similarly have yearning for um, sort of new beginning and yearning to become connected with Vaiguru. Uh, our own creator. So, um, moving from this spiritually laden um, celebration of the season, then we also have a, a sort of a, where the history took a new turn uh, in, in the northern India because when Khalsa was created in 1699 by Guru Gobind Singh Ji, this event took place on 30th of March in Anandpur Sahib. So, the last Guru uh, sort of uh, gave a transformation uh, to the Sikhs by telling them to become um, recognized by their outer symbols and celebrate their distinctness, their uniqueness in, in, in society and also stand up uh, to become the source of inspiration for others to, to become conscious of on their own dignity, their own human rights, their own, uh, you know, sort of um, rights in the society. So, as I had mentioned uh, in the last week's uh, narration that Guru Gobind Singh Ji gave us the slogan called Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh, that the Sikhs are, they belong to Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa. Khalsa is a term which comes from a Persian language, which means the land which belongs to the emperor directly. And some uh, historians have also translated as a sort of a pure, but the real meaning is the land which belongs to the other Sikhs who belong to Vaheguru. So Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh, then what do all human beings should be doing? They should be working for the victory of God. Now how to create a victory of God? It's not that you uh, occupy a land and call it a, a, you know, some name and say that this is the land belongs to God. No, the victory of God means when you work for the justice in society, where everybody has the opportunity to, pro to progress and to become prosperous and become happy, and everybody has justice, and there's love prevalent everywhere, there's a kindness, and you are lifting other people. So that is what victory of God is, when the virtues of God are practiced and celebrated everywhere. So that is what the vision of Guru Gobind Singh Ji was uh, when he created Khalsa. So he also said that Khalsa mero roop hai khas. Khalsa me ho karo niwas. Then people asked Guruji, how, how will we see you? He says, look at any Sikh. 
when you see a Sikh, I am in him or in her. Khalsa meru roop hai khals, khalse me ho karo nivas, that I reside in the spirit of Khalsa. When Khalsa is on his path of creating uh, love and kindness and justice everywhere, that's when he's acting like me. So Guru Gobind Singh Ji lives on any individual who is working for the betterment of other people. So this is the message of Guru Gobind Singh Ji. He wanted us to rise above the divisions that we create based on either caste system or color or you know, however you want to practice your life or whatever your life's choices are. Guru Gobind Singh Ji wanted us to rise above that and think ourselves um, there is a very uh, beautiful hymn. He says, Rehat Piyari Mujko Sikh Piyara Nahi. So, that what, what he meant was that uh, I want people to really orient themselves for a higher purpose in life, not just be very uh, sort of focused on their own narrow mindedness and on their own narrow interests. When you become like a, a guru would act in life. That's when Guru Gobind Singh Ji said that I am with you, I am part of you. So, ladies and gentlemen, happy Vaisakhi to you, everyone. And may God bring peace and love and justice everywhere. And may God give wisdom to uh, the religious leaders, the, the political leaders, and the leaders in the society so they can guide the humanity in the right direction and rise above, above from their selfish and narrow interests. Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh.